All right, well, you, you brother, um, I, I'm, gl I'm glad you believe in red flags because Islam as a whole is a red flag. It's not. It's a giant red flag. No, it's it's, it's, Islam basically tells you don't bother following it. So, as an example, this is what, one, one thing, right? Basically, in Islam, you don't have any free will. No. So, do. you don't. I do. It says right here in Sahih Muslim 2645A. One second. Well, how much I got? Oh, I haven't got much better. It's, it's right here, and the Arabic's right here. You can read yeah, this one. Sahih Muslim? 20, 2645. 2645. 26 45A Yeah? Oh, why are you repeating the same the same topic when you Because it's a problem. No, it's right? It's not. You're following an evil religion. Muhammad, already, Muhammad if you remember, if you have good memory, he told you that the action that the action you will do that the one who's going to Jahannam, he will do the action of hellfire. That's what it means. Brother? For example, example murdering Lion, all this guy, do you think brother, he's gonna go heaven? Are you brother, serious? I will show you the hadith right now. The hadith, brother, it says that a person will do the deeds of the people of paradise until he is a hand span away from paradise. Then what is written for him will overtake him. And he will do the deeds oh, of the people. Kader. That means you don't have any free will. Because whatever Allah deems not, for you will not, happen. Do you, know, do you know the definition of Qadr in Islam? Essentially predestination or, or destiny. It is. But do you know the definition of it? And in the Islamic perspective? Basically. If, if, uh, it is. Oh. Al Qadr. Al Qadr, let me just explain what Qadr is. Al Qadr I know what is it the is. events that surely are going to happen in someone's life. So, if Qadr, Al Qadr, one example is death, surely. Surely you're going to die the way I, I, I understand. So, tell me, what's your point? First, My point is, what Qadr is, I understand, but here's the problem, right? This uh, one literally starts with evil is he who is evil in the womb of his mother. And good is the one, is he, who takes lessons from the fate of others. So apparently, according to this, it's possible for you to be evil inside your mother's womb. Explain how that works. What does it say inside the mother's womb? Evil is, the, is he who is evil in the womb of his mother. Explain how that works, please. That's not good, that's not good at all. How can you be evil in your mother's womb? In a baby, you haven't even born yet. Is he who is evil in his mother's womb? So that is Islam then. I mean, he's showing it to you, you can look at it and just, um, you know, respond to that. Because I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. And, and this is another one I find very funny. So this is the same hadith, right? No, let's it, just stick to one, yeah? No, it, it, it's okay. the same hadith, same hadith, same hadith, right? Okay. It's, it says here, no, no way, this is for you, this is, it's for him. It says here, uh, when 42 nights pass after the semen gets into the womb, Allah sends his angels and gives him shape. Then he creates his sense of hearing, his sense of sight, his skin and his flesh his bones and says my lord would he be male or female so according to this 42 days after insemination mm -hmm. that's when allah decides mm -hmm. if you're male or female mm -hmm. but wait a second we know that the sex of a child is determined at conception absolutely so what, what, what is the point of allah then uh, allah allah is the, the best of scientists 
what, 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 what is the what is his use? You know? Let's just stick to what is the use of him? Or oh, it? Well, it's a whatever you call it. So in other words, this is like a, um, this sort of a fake, um, a fake uh, religion, really. Yeah. Yeah, there is no, there is no, and also they talking about sex too much. Mm -hmm. A lot of sex. Mm -hmm. Somebody just told me how to put the um, sex and Allah, a book. I'm gonna get that book. And I just like, to, you know, you are always talking about sex. Jiggy, jiggy. He passed away, I live in her, a widow with the children. She narrated her story of grief and hardship to the Prophet. He offered her marriage and solace. This had a showcase the compassion and the empathy of Prophet Muhammad. You can be evil in your mother's womb. Do you agree with that? All right. The semen stays. Stays in this in the womb for 40 nights. Yeah, it means 40 days. Then the angel gives it a shape. You're not explaining it, you're just reading further. Yeah, I'm ready to understand. You want to explain well, it to the, me? The, the entire hadith is just wrong anyway. Mm. Because it, it doesn't take 40 days before you become a boy or a girl. You become a boy or a girl when the sperm uh, 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 goes into the egg. Because it happens instantly. Mm. Because the, the, the DNA from the sperm is what determines what you are. If it's X, Y, it's a girl. If it's X, Y, it's a guy. I think they were trying to create like a scientific basis and actually yep. they got it wrong. Yep. They wanted to show that they are like uh, this thing, you know, yep. over here when actually they're not. Yep. So just be honest or be quiet about that if you don't know. Just be basic. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm don't, don't try to falsify yeah? things, don't make up things that you don't understand. And that's the really good. Mm -hmm. mm. oh, one second, Baba. One second. But you read it, you know what you... You can you can go away and study and come back. Well, you you will like it. So don't, 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 don't bother with him, he's lying, don't worry about him. So Sam, get lost. Um, and particularly, there's another one as well. So there's, there's a, no worries. Sam, go home. There's another one. It's called Sahih Muslim 2643. That's another one. I'm going to call you a camel. I'm going to call you a camel. Okay, I have no one knows camel mix. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Okay. This, this phrase is not specific verse okay, okay. from the Quran or a hadith, but rather a proverbal saying. Okay, okay, okay. Rather, do you know what proverbal saying? Yeah, so, so, it, so it, it, it's, it's an expression, yeah? Okay, okay. So then, if it's only an expression. No, one second, one second. Okay. A word referred to a proverb or item. Idiom. Okay, like an idiom, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Uh, um. Why do we have to go around to just to get a response? No, 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 no. Uh, apparently, it's it's well, only an expression. There are so many yeah? that there are so many things that, that don't make any sense in the Bible, but the end you get the explanation. There are so many things that don't make sense, it would, but there's an explanation at the end. Isn't so it? effectively, there are so many, nothing. Okay, yeah. There's nothing in the Bible that doesn't make sense. It's an example. That's what proverbial saying means. It's okay. An example. Okay. As that's an example. That's fine. Okay, if, just, if you're saying it as an example, it emphasizes the idea. Uh, it emphasizes the idea that a person's character and behavior can be influenced by their upbringing and surroundings. Well, the no, it doesn't was, because it says the in the womb, not outside the womb. So it's actually it's yeah. emphasizing actually that you can be evil before you even come out into the world. Yeah, but you can you can use metaphoric. You can say the the sun the sun is setting in the sea, but it's not actually doing. You, I can say right. you are you are tiny. Uh, sometimes in Arab culture as well, we say you are tiny. What yeah. we mean by tiny means right. 
we are young. Okay. So sometimes it makes sense that okay. we use some um, metaphoric okay. All right. example from his womb. Okay. Can say he can be evil from his mother's womb. Is that, it, it's not. It doesn't mean literally. It's gonna. It's evil. It's yeah. His mother's but, womb. but even if you said it as a as, as a metaphor, yeah. what that would mean is before he was born, not after he was born. No, it doesn't mean the literal meaning. No, no. Even if it was uh, a metaphor, right? If you say he was evil from the womb, what that means is he was evil from the beginning, not afterwards. It could mean it could mean since he born. Exactly. It could mean, yeah. Exactly, right? So, so, so before he even got a chance to be socialized by his environment, he was already evil. That's what that means. And I have another one for you as well, yeah? It's in the same Sahih Muslim, huh? It's just another one for you. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to respond to that? Well, he, he did, but by saying that it's, uh, it's an expression. A person's character and behavior can be influenced by their upbringing and surroundings. The first part suggests that someone who develops evil traits early in life might continue to well, manifest negative behaviour. Like, the, the, the first, first part suggests that someone who develops evil traits early in life it may continue to manifest negative behaviour, while the second part highlights the importance of learning from the experiences and mistakes of others in the to cultivate good character. It's a reflection on the nature of human behavior and the choices individual make in shaping their moral and ethical color. What did you understand from what I said? So effectively, uh, yeah, absolutely. The first one is saying <clears throat> um, evil is he who is in the womb. It's simply saying that somebody can be influenced by the environment. Literally. It's simply literally. saying. Literally. I didn't say literally. Can, I said can, simply. Can, can, can literally. Can I say that... Brother, that, I wasn't that, even done. Okay, so, I was still explaining it. The first one, the saying, he who is evil in his mother's womb, right? According to what you just read, is essentially emphasizing that people's character can be influenced by their environment and their surroundings. Yeah. And the second one, but good is he who learns from other people, is emphasizing that you can build good character by observing good character. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Here's the problem. No, brother. Okay, you understand now. Why me? Here's the problem. Okay, tell me. Why does it say things like this? For example, it says. Read in context, please. No worries. So, Sahih Muslim 2643A. Do you understand now? Someone. I someone? don't accept it. I understand no, no. it. This, but I don't accept it. I, I don't accept it. And I'll show you why. If I say someone is evil from. Someone can be evil from the day from they are inside the mother's womb. Me from the it beginning. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean. It, it means that they can be very young and evil. No, be it means from the beginning. Because otherwise, you, you you wouldn't say your mother's womb. Well, you can't prove literally. Literally, you can't compare literally with. I, ag I agree with you, but what I'm telling you is that the metaphoric expression in his the mother's womb says means someone something. Someone can be evil since, since they are young by surroundings and it doesn't mean literally from the one mother's womb. I, Brother, do you think it's I logical? understand you. you it's I logical? understand you, but what I'm telling you is the expression from your mother's womb means from the beginning. I've already explained. Someone in my mother's womb. Oh, you don't understand. What the fuck? I, mean? I do. That's why I'm saying it means from the beginning. Yeah, from your mother's womb. But exactly. But the explanation. But literally, the explanation. I understand that. I, from I, young, young I, age. I understand that. Someone can, can be evil from a young age depending on the surroundings and okay. people. Okay. And, and I am saying that I understand the explanation that you gave. I am saying that the metaphor is implying that the evil occurred before they were even socialized. Before they learned anything about the environment or surroundings. Before that, they were evil. Oh, it's a metaphoric, bro. You don't understand. Someone can be evil from the, even if they're staying in the mother's womb. Doesn't mean literally the, before they even born, before they even socialize. It can be at a very young age. It can be develop evilness in a very young age. 
Okay. For example, if it was young, it doesn't was, mean literally someone can be even mother's womb, literally, bro. If it was young, you, know, you understand? You I, understand I, I hear you, I hear what you're saying, someone but I don't agree. Can, can be evil in a such a young age, for example, if someone says someone can be, for example, I'm gonna say it all over again, if someone says someone can be evil even to stay in, in their mother's womb, it doesn't mean literally they're gonna be evil in their mother's womb. You know how you told me that in Arabic, tiny, you are tiny, yes. means you're small. You're young. Yeah, you're, 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 you're young. Sometimes as Moroccan say, you are small, it means you're okay, young. Okay, okay. If, mean if the explanation young. that you gave me is true, this should have then said, he who example? is evil from tiny is evil, not in your mother's womb. Do you understand this? From young, yeah? Evil is he who is evil from tiny. It's what it should have said. There's no specific verse, bro. But it's an example. And, understand and example. I, I am showing you that in order for the for the explanation you gave to be valid, an example. the wording has to be different. But in this verse, it's just two things. An example, an example, a metaphoric. Someone can be evil in can be even in a such a young age, bro. You understand? How? How? It can be a very young age. How? 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 It's probable. How? It's probable. It's probable, isn't it? It's, prob it's probable. So it's such a young age. What, I, what I'm trying to tell you is you that you understand my point. I, I okay. So I understand what you're saying, but I don't agree. Do, 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 do you get that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this one here, right? It talks about. Um, uh, so by him besides whom there is no God that one amongst you acts like the people deserving paradise until between him and paradise there remains but the distance of a cubit what's a cubit? Uh, it's like a hand span yeah. it's like an old measuring system yeah uh, then suddenly the writing of destiny yeah. overcomes him and he begins to act like the denizens the people of hell and thus enters hell and another one acts in the way of the denizens the people of hell until there remains between him and hell a distance of a cubit that the writing of destiny overcomes him and then he begins yeah, to like act in the people of paradise and enters paradise so you don't have a choice because mean, look look earlier on yeah uh it talks about how how people form right so uh, then it becomes a lump of flesh huh? sahir muslim 26 43 46, yeah. yeah. So here it says Allah sends his angels to it with instructions concerning four things. A, A. 2346A. يجمع خلقه في بطن أمه 40 يوما فيما يكون في ذلك علاقة من ذلك مثل ذلك ثم يكون في ذلك مضغة مثل ذلك ثم يرسل الملك فينفخ في الروح ويؤمر بأربع كلمات برزقه وأجله وعمله وشقيه أو سعيدا فوالذي لا إله إلا غير إن أحد من يعمل بعمل أهل الجنة حتى ما يكون بينه وبينهم إلا درا فاسبق عليه عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل النار فيدخلها وإن أحدكم لا يعمل بعمل أهل النار حتى حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها إلا ذراع فيسبق no the word ذراع means a distance yeah a uh, distance I'm, I'm not arguing about that I'm arguing about a word that means overcome yeah. overcome yeah فيسبق عليه الكتاب so if you come I look at the definition فيسبق عليه الكتاب which means overcome just, um, it shows that you have no free will because Allah's kadar overcomes you. No worries. No worries. No worries. I'm not. I'm not fighting you. I'm just I'm saying.
Oh, so uh, the explanation, as you can see, uh, is if you come Islam, if you, this is me. Can I? Would you trust me if I translate for you? No, translate it. That's fine. I don't mind. But yeah. it wouldn't so make it sense. Means, yep. Um, one second. I need to translate. Gurur. It means, you know, vanity, vanity, huh? vanity. Yeah, so when, when someone's vain, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it means. So when the box overcomes him, the explanation is that um, Allah is warning him from the vanity of his actions. So for example, uh, for example, the book of overcoming, if someone is rich, one example is this. And this guy is vanity with his world, but doesn't doesn't remember Allah, he's far away from Allah and he does merging, he does the actions of people of hell which means someone like Hitler or someone like um, someone who does evil acts someone, the, the, the concept of doing the actions of people of hell means that he will do actions that will lead him to hell I agree. Allah would never put someone without his, without his uh, because you know Allah has given us free will Allah has given us free will Allah has, Allah has given you destiny. So what it means, the book, the the sabiqa alayhi al-kitab, it's not, it's not the, the wrong, I can I can confess, there's a wrong translation, it doesn't mean overcome him, but for yasbiqa alayhi al-kitab, it means Allah is giving him warning from the vanity of his actions. Warning? Warning, yes. What, which word Literally is warning? Warning. warning? warning. Which word is that? Warning. Well, so, so overcome oh, yes, should be a warning. That's the seer I got. So overcome should be warning. Exactly. Warning from his vanity. From vanity. Okay. From the vanity of action. How does that work then with the other example uh -huh. where the person does the uh -huh. good deeds? If you, wanna, if you don't read that, it says, first, first book, alayhi al-kitab, it means, tahdeerun min al-ikhtirari bil-a'mal. It means the warning from the vanity of, of, of the other if you don't know. So, brother, here's the problem, yeah? You said that the word... It's a word. wrong translation because okay. we use so many words that don't, don't even make sense once again. Here's the problem. You have said that the word... Warning against the deception in business. Well, the word business here means like the actions. The actions. Because okay. actions, business and uh, business, al-a'mal, Al-A'mal means the actions and business at the, at the same time. But you read in the English one. The Tafsir I go, a warning against deception in his actions. Okay. In actions. Okay. So, it says... No, no, don't read the English, please. It says, by him, besides who there is no God, that yeah, one... That's the shahada. Okay. One amongst you acts like the people deserving in paradise. paradise. What, does yep. it mean? what does it mean? So you act like the people who deserve paradise. Yeah? yeah. So you're doing good deeds. Exactly. Right? Now, yeah. until between him and paradise, there remains a distance of a cubit. Exactly. So you're doing good deeds and you're going to paradise. Yeah. But right when you're about to enter paradise, it says, no. When suddenly the writing of destiny overcomes him and he begins to act oh, like the denizens of hell. When someone is about to someone is about to go to Jannah, yeah? Oh yeah, so let's, yeah see, no. let's see that. Yeah, no. And starts oh, the book overcomes him. The word the word overcome the book overcomes yep. him is saying is saying yep. yes, it means until his vanity of with this dunya. For example, let me just say I was a good Muslim. I was doing my zakat. I was I was praying. I was doing all my all my job as a Muslim. All good did. And then at sudden, the book overcomes me, which means first book alayhi al-kitab, which means the message. The book overcomes him, which means that the, his his action will actually vanish. Vanity, yeah? For example, here I am, I was a good Muslim and then I became a millionaire. Okay. But, yeah. but for example, I was really good, I was, I was an amazing Muslim. Okay. 
until I was I had between me and Jannah what a distance uh, 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 she, she, she doesn't like she doesn't like me to appear on camera she gets stressed uh, his mom doesn't want him on camera so blur him out can we blow you out my whole family bro. can we can we just blur him out please if you don't mind yeah imagine I was doing a simple video a simple video about Islam because so then, what why do you even come here then if your mom doesn't want you here yeah, because I want to. Yeah, you me. Well, listen to your mother, then, yeah. and, and then when you get older, you can come here again. Uh, so here, okay. This is a death of sin. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, th right. that's why. But that's why you just block him out. Yeah, yeah. Who came to the prophet? That, that, that's why he's wearing a mask now. <laughs> and prayed for her. The prophet asked her if if she had prepared the gift of sadaqah for him, if to which to which. Uh, she replied she had nothing except a necklace. Oh no, it's not this one. It's the sea, bro. Oh, no, no, sea, bro. It's not this one, sorry, my bad. Sea. Okay. Oh, my phone is turning off. Here you go, my friend. It's right here. So, did you want the hadith? Yeah. Yeah, but this hadith is. Oh, look, I'm gonna do that research. Let's say this hadith exists. But with a point. There's no free will. You want to make it. Oh, you, him, you, to be honest, you've been debating Muslim a lot of time. Yeah, about a year. And you know already that where, how to get the hadiths, how to get some of the verses. But I just told him the verse. I, I, it's, it's easy to find. You, yeah, you, yeah. you type in the name of the hadith book and a number. That's it. He, he's reading right now. Um, I'm not confusing him. I'm saying, hey, look at this. So is it in English or in Arabic you're talking about? Both. It has, it has the Arabic and the English. So what, what's the name? Uh, this Arabic? is uh, Sahih Muslim 2662C. 2662 C. So I just no, no Arabi. Do you want me to write in English? Just, just type in a Sahi, S A H I H. Muslim, M U S. Yes, yeah, yeah, there you go. Muslim, yep, M U S L I M. Yeah. And just type in also the number 2662. Okay. 2662 C. C. 2662 uh, 20, C. C. Yep. You say, yes. Come. Yep. And then it'll be the first link you see. He, he's got it. He's, he's, he's reading it right now. Okay. So, this. so I can read Arabic as well. Go for it. I understand. Go for it. This is the first chapter. Um, Kitab al Qadr. Yeah. Kitab al Qadr. Yep. That yeah, one Kitab there. al Qadr means the book the of, book destiny. of uh, destiny. Okay. So. Oh. No, wrong one, it's uh, the one below, that one there. Uh, how was your conversation with, uh, with, with uh, Ibn Hazm? <laughs> Go on, good, go on, good. Just uh, doing a video, but yeah. What is the theme? The theme here? Uh, there's no, there's no free will in Islam. Because of Qadr. What Allah decrees for you to happen when He decides that you will go to hell, you go to hell. When He says you go to heaven, you go to heaven. It doesn't matter what you do. Destiny, Qadr, will overcome you. It's like, like a hardcore version of Calvinism. Oh really? It's like, it's more like fatalism. You ain't got a choice. Like whatever the gods decree will happen to you. As a young age, he knew, that means he knew. Kind of like Greek fatalism. Um, so the of the children who die young. The Prophet Muhammad comforts Aisha by explaining. Yeah, this is why I'm glad I bought this. Okay, okay let's listen. Let's listen. Yeah. The, this hadith, the book 33, hadith 6390, it's a conversation between Prophet Muhammad and his wife Aisha about the fate of children who die young. The Prophet confronts Aisha by explaining that children who die are guaranteed paradise. That's not what he said. 
because they haven't reached the age of accountability. That's what, that's what Aisha said. Where, where they can't commit sins. That's what Aisha said. But, but, but um, Muhammad says, says no, that's not the case. Read it, it's right there. Aisha says, says, says that. But Musa says, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Muhammad says it's not the case. Okay. That children are guaranteed paradise because they haven't reached the age of accountability where they can commit sins. However, he also mentioned the concept of predestination, indicating that God has already determined the ultimate destiny mm -hmm. of individuals. There you go. No whether, free will. Whether for paradise or hell. Yep. Even before their birth, they before they are born. There you go. This had to reflect the Islamic belief about God's mercy and presentation. We, I, okay, now I understand. Allah already knows what's gonna happen. If I'm going to hell, it's more hell than that. It's, it's more than that. Okay, the verse actually we're talking about. Allah has already made a destination exactly, where to go. Exactly. Yes, and that's the thing that's bad. But how do you think he, he's going? Yes, Allah. That means Allah isn't merciful because He hasn't given you true free no, will. No, 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 one second. But Allah has given us free will. He hasn't. He said, I gave, you, I gave you everything. Now show me what you're going to do. Are you going to do the actions of the, hell, the people of the hellfire or go, are you going to do the action of the heaven? Baba, do you think Allah doesn't know what's going to happen to me or him or you? So we believe as well Allah that has God already knows. destined to me. We believe where that God knows. Going. Yeah, we believe that God okay. knows the ultimate destination. Okay, let me so, tell you. So wait, wait. Do you, be, do you believe Allah is all knowing? Allah knows well, all this is going to happen. I don't believe Allah is all knowing, but I believe God's all knowing, sure. Allah Excuse doesn't me. know everything. Oh, no, no, Allah, no, no, no. There's many things he doesn't know. You just saying in English and you just say in Arabic. Well, he, he's, he, he, he said he's, Allah knows, so he said in your understanding of God, God knows. He, he, he's yeah, Baba, referring to no, no, the Allah with his two right Baba, hands. Baba, Baba, you that. like to play this game? Baba, God, God change, knows. Change, God knows. I'm still here. God, I have one more no, no, for listen, you. Listen, listen. God knows. God knows. He said, I know what you're going to be in your future before we came to this world. That's not what he says. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'll tell you another. Show me that in the hadith. This is not hadith, this is the Quran. Well, I it. have one more for you. Yeah, yeah, okay, but let, no me, no let me tell you. Sorry, brother. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying to you is, you just say You're just making things no, 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 no. I cannot. No, no. Show, me, show, me, show me a verse, please. No, no, listen, listen. Do you believe God? I believe in the true God. Which That's God not Allah. Which one? The triune God, the Father, Son, Spirit. Is he one? He's one in being, three in persons. Three in persons? Yes. Are you, Are you confused? Keep going. Nope. Are you confused? For example, uh, take, take you're this one. You're one right? person. I, I am one person. Yes. Well, you're one person. Yes, but well, God is. God is true. Yeah, God is Okay, who's the father? Huh? Who's the father? A person of God. So who's the son? Oh, person don't change, please. Okay. So three God. You so believe three God. Three persons. You believe Allah. Three God. Okay. Let me explain. Person. What's the Let me time? explain. Okay. Allah, yep. Allah already knows what I'm going to do. Okay. It's not up to Allah, it's up to me. That's, it's up to me. That's not what I'm seeing. Baba, it's up to me. I can even show you from the Quran. Baba, are you claiming now? Surah 18, Allah, verse 74. Go and look it up as well. No, 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 change. Let me make my point. So, Allah has given me free will. He has. But Allah. Okay, I'm gonna say again. Brother, brother. Gonna say again. Brother, can brother, you show me Allah, any verse? Allah already knows what's gonna happen to all brother, of us. Can you show me any verse but in the Quran or Hadith how, how, where it says that? Any verse where it says Allah gave you free will. I want to see that please. Let, let, let me see. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But let, let me see. No, the tall guy, the short guy, the uncle, and the uncle. The uncle is also under the cover. Yeah, the boss of the under the cover. Just to watch people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. I didn't even know that. Yeah, no, seriously. Well, like, most of the time, you will insult your mom. He did. He called people monkey. He did. He called people monkey. Yep. He says Allah has shown the way of brother grateful and they're grateful, given the freedom to choose their path. That's what I'm talking about. So Allah knows that you're going to hell or heaven. Allah knows if I'm going to hell or heaven. Allah knows if you're going to hell or heaven. Because why? Allah gave me the choice. 
Okay. Get me already. So it's up to me what I'm gonna do. It's up to me. Okay. If I want to act like the people of, if I, like the actions of people who are going to paradise, or I can choose to act like to act like the people who are going to hell. Okay. Give me one example. Thank you for showing me that. Now What's I know again? that so the Quran has that's another contradiction in it. That's fine. No, 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 no. Okay. Which, you, which, which one do you want? Surah Anisa, 76 three. 76 three. So the Surah 4, yeah? No, 76. No, Al Nisa is number 4, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Surah 4. 76, yeah? Yeah. No, 76 three. What? 76 free. Free. 76 free. Let me see. Surat An Nisa. Oh. Uh, okay, fine, right. No, that is not the one. God. That's your English translation. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion. Allahi, bro. Brother, don't waste your time too much. 4, 76. No, no, no. 3. No, 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 no. I just did that. I did 4, 7, 6, yeah? Do you understand now? Well, well no, because it's a contradiction. Because I will show you somewhere else brother, where brother, Allah. Brother, you are under arrest. You money time. You waste other people's time. <laughs> no, you are a good man. No, 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 don't try, don't try. No. Don't try. Come back here, man. So, <laughs> a good brother, go, go. We are from Lagos. No, 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 no Lagos. No, Abuja. 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 Don't yeah, I went there, my friend. I was just there. Oh, my oh, bad, bro. <laughs> that, that's literally that link right there. I was just oh, yeah. there. You're sorry, my bad, bro. It was confusing. Surah Tanisa was 76. Right there, brother. That's it. 76. Bro, I'm confused. Chapter number four. Aladina. Aladina. Is that the one? No. So fight against those, no? No, 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 no. It's not the one. Bro, well, I'm confused. So you said, okay, uh, look, let me see that again. Let me see that again. Those who believe fight the cause. Wait, 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 wait. Surat an Nisa 3. You said number 7. Surat an Nisa. That one there. Al Insan 3, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Inna hadayna inna shakran imma kafura. Indeed, we guided you the way, be he grateful and ungrateful. But if you go, inna ata aghla al ansayr. One second. Inna. Uh, um, he created from sperm and might try him, he made a hair on the same. No, it's okay. It was the same one, yeah. It's the same one that you brought up. It's like, oh. and, and this Al in. Insan, in okay. Al Insan, okay. It means the, the human that created. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah Al Insan, my bad. Uh, 76 3. three. Well, that's the right there. And we guided him to the to the way. Be he grateful or be ungrateful. Doesn't say anything about free will. No, no, to the freedom, we choose their path. So it's not in the Quran. Sure, there's, there's no free will. The right in the Quran. regardless whether he choose to be. Can you read this one? So this is a translation. Surely we showed him the right path. Uh, regardless of whether he chooses to be thankful or unthankful. That's he chooses. He chooses. What does it mean? So I choose. He chooses. What does it to tell be you? Thankful or not? Exactly. No, no. He's no. He's choosing to be thankful, not choosing a path. Chooses is, to be thankful. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that doesn't do with free will. It is. It's chooses. not. Chooses. No, no. I choose. Cho choose. Choice doesn't choose. mean free no, no. will only, uh, hello, right? Hello. Because for example, wait, 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 yeah, yeah. for example. I, I am making the case that Allah is ultimately determining where you wind up. It doesn't matter if you pick which toilet paper you want or on a particular day. I ain't free will. I just keep making choices. Allah, Allah is superseding your moral agency. He decides what actions you do in order to no. go to heaven no. or hell. No. And He decides before what you are born. I, say, I am showing you all of the hadith. Here, yeah, the hadith says the one who's going to hell is gonna do the actions of hell. And, and the then one, the other hadith I just showed you about Aisha. Explain. The other no, uh, the other hadith. Uh, did you brother, that? brother, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna show you four of them. I'm gonna show you. This is the last one I'm gonna show you, right? The third one, when Aisha and Muhammad are at the funeral, okay, and no, Aisha says, now, no, I'm going to the, the last one I just showed you. Aisha says that the child was too young to commit sin. So he's definitely going to heaven. Muhammad says, hold on now, that's not the case. Because 
somebody who is going to hell is decided for them when they are in their father's loins, aka Let before they are born. Point. Let me make my point. Allah says, Allah, in Allah, in the Arabic, my translation, forget about that, this stupid translation. In my, Allah says, Indeed, we guided him the way whether he be grateful and whether he be ungrateful. So literally, literally, there, there, there is Kafura. no... Kafuran! You know there, what Kafuran means? There's no Kafuran. Where? You know Kafuran. Yeah, Kafuran. Kafuran. No, it's Kafuran. here. Kafuran. Excuse me. You know where, what I mean? No, no, no. Where's choice? We guided him. Where's the choice? Way. You know how to be to grateful be to Allah. Grateful. The, the, you know word, to be to the word choice Allah. isn't even here in the Arabic. It just says, uh, so we indeed guided him uh, to the, the way whether yeah, yeah. he be grateful and whether he be ungrateful. There's no choice here. No, you don't. The, word, the word choice is even here. Jesus. You know what? You know what? It's not even he, here. He do his own translation. This guy. Exactly. Read here. Stop it. Read this bit. I am reading the no, literal read. Arabic, read. and the word read. choice you know doesn't what? exist here. Just read this translation. Stop your silly First translation. of all, I'm sure you. No, you, stop you, first of all. I'm what? sure you would no, you claim know you know that you was, the, if you're you reading know, Arabic, you know, you know, you're, then you're not reading the Quran. No, you know what? I know you translate. Brother, just brother, read what he says here. Indeed, brother, if you become come, thankful come. to God, brother, come. He will guide you to the right. Brother, path. but if you don't want it, brother, he will next issue you to the right way. Brother, See, for the camera, are you brother, accepting yes. that the Quran in English is the Quran? Oh, uh, yes. okay, okay, okay. Let's let's say. Excuse me. So you saying the translation hundred percent is not. The translation in the Arabic literally says the following. Yeah. Indeed, we. Yeah. Guided him. Yeah, but that's your translation. You do it now. To the way. But you are doing. But this whether way, you don't happy with this. He be grateful he and whether he be exactly. ungrateful. So you not happy with this? Allah, okay, okay. Allah, so that's that's it. Allah okay. Give it a but then, you know second, what? You, he's manipulating this guy. Allah. He's talking nonsense, yes. man. No, you you Allah you do your own translation. Allah. He's doing his own translation. Go back. Go back. Go back. I also show more. No, go back. Go back. Go back. Let's read together. Let's read together. Let me hear Arabic. No, no, let me hear Arabic for you. Inna hadayna hu sabila imma shakiran wa imma kafura. You tell me the translation. No, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This guy is in his mouth. He's in his mouth. Okay, can you read Arabic? I can't. No, can you read Arabic? Okay, what's the translation? What's the final letter? So, indeed. Yep. And then, brother, here is the here is the great last one. Yeah. Okay, one second, one second, one second, one second. The verse actually says, Allah, I showed you the right path. Whether he be no, ungrateful or ungrateful. Brother, I gave you the choice. I gave you the choice whether to be ungrateful or grateful to me. Because so, of the right path, yeah? So one second. How do, okay. you, how do you be grateful to Allah? Which word here is how choice? How do you be grateful to Allah? Follow the five pillars or whatever. Imma, Wh wh which word is choice? Imma, whether, yeah? It means, Imma is not just one word, brother. It means you can choose Imma, Imma Hada, Imma Hada. Whether this one or this one. You have the choice. I give you the choice. Whether you want to be grateful or grateful to me. You understand now? You have the choice. Imma. In Arabic, in my school, in, in Arabic school, uses the word Imma to take a choice, to get a choice. You say Imma Hada or Imma Hada. Imma Hada or Imma Hada. Choose this or this. The Imma, the word Imma can also be can also be a replacement to choice. So, brother, Imma. This is there is Allah, no brother. In the this is husband, not free will. Guided him the front this way. is literally saying. You, I gave you the choice to be grateful or ungrateful. So, I'm gonna simplest way possible. There's so, no choice in the Arabic. That's the problem. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give you a choice. I am. Um, I commanded you to to be grateful to me. Or ungrateful. I give you half the choice and you have this. Why are you gonna choose? Okay, so from what I can see, that's yeah. not what it's saying. From what I can see, it's saying this. Can see. It's saying this, for example. The verse says, so, Imma, I, Imma. I have shown you. I have shown you that the I have shown you yeah. that there is no free will in the Quran. There is. Now you can either take it or leave it. That's not free will. No free will. 
That's not free. I'm gonna teach you Arabic now. And then I'm not teaching Arabic. No. Yo. I am not teaching Arabic. I'm not teaching Arabic. I never said that. I am saying you that the literal Arabic is the saying that, and in the context of the verse, that's what it's saying. And the final thing I want to show you is this last. A uh, hadith here in Sahih Al Bukhari 6614. No. So, if you see this one, this one says, the prophet, uh, the prophet said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, Oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. No, let me read the article. One second. Well, I'm, I'm not done yet. Okay. Okay, well, I'm yep. sorry. Continue. Yep. So, Moses says that Adam disappointed them and turned them out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, Oh Moses, Allah favored you. So the people who translated Arabic, right? the people who translated are Arabs. Yeah? Let me let me finish and you can confer, yeah? Yeah. So, okay. see, you know what? You know what? Come in, come in, I speak listen. English. I speak Arabic. Awesome job. The problem okay. you have, then you know what Adam said, said "Oh Moses, um, Allah favored you um, with His speech or whatever." So he talked to you directly, no, no, and he wrote the Torah. He wrote the Torah for you with his own hands. Do you blame me for the action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before I was created? So Adam confuted Moses, Adam confuted Moses, the Prophet added repeating the same thing three times. So Adam says here, uh, do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation. So Adam had no choice but to sin, according to this. Okay. Sahih Muslim, okay. 66, That's 14. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. For your not what you understand, you say there's no free. There's no free. So did you say Una free? Allah is not giving us free choice. No. He hasn't. Did Adam have a choice? Is the question. No. Because according to Adam, he didn't have a choice. Okay. Our verse. Allah says. Um, تعرف تعرف ال تعرف الجزء القرآن يقول قال إني جاعل في الأرض خليفة إني جاعل في الأرض خليفة الله كليلي before Adam was born Allah state that Allah told the angels that there's going to be a new generation of humans. So Allah, yes, Allah, it was Allah's plan to Adam to sin so he can so he can send him to earth. You get you understand now? So that you sounds ask forgiveness. crazy. Why didn't Allah just make Adam on earth? So Allah's will. Allah wanted new generation. Red flag. So my brother, my brother, un understand this, yeah. Brother, understand this. You're saying that that the Almighty Allah yes. can only achieve human beings on earth by making the first human disobey him. Uh, yes. Brother, that's crazy. How? Allah is all-powerful. So Allah could have simply just made human beings on earth. What are you doing, man? Like, go to Let me show you. Let me show you, brother. I understand now. No, even if somebody, when I'm praying, he knows Arabic. Yeah. Let's go to Sej. Say Surah Nas. You know Surah Nas? Nope. Surah Nas. The, the, the last one. Okay. What are you doing? Get out of the camera. What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of the camera. Okay. Okay. You and you, 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 you said that you didn't want to be the camera. Get out of the camera then. Yes, no, no. Yeah. 
So let me show you. I'm not calling you. Ahuz billah. Okay. No, it's not Shaitan about you. You don't call me the Shaitan. No. It just means something else. I don't know. It's something like Kurtin. It's not about you, bro. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, there's two Shaitans. Anyway. No human. No human can be Shaitan. I guess so. Shaitan is evil. Surah Tana, that's like Surah 100 and what? Is that the 10 or 14? Surah yeah. Tanas. Which one is that? 113 or 14? Yeah, 114, yeah. So, yeah. Wait, where's the translation? Uh, there. Yeah. I'll have to check it. It's getting cold now, isn't it? I'm getting cold. Yeah, it's getting cold. Okay. My African Vienna okay. okay. Say, I seek refuge uh, in the Lord of the mankind. Yeah. Say, I seek no, 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 refuge. No, 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 it's the same thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah hold, down, on, yeah. hold on, hold on. I'm going down. Say, I seek refuge with the Lord. And cherisher of mankind, yeah. the sovereign of mankind, scroll down. Because this is all those conditions, right? The Malik. Yeah, uh, Ilahi the God of mankind. Yep. For the evil. 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 Yep. the evil. Yep. For the evil. Yep. For the evil. the evil. Yep. the evil. Yep. the evil. the evil. the evil. the evil. the evil. the the evil. the evil. No, human gene is the one he tried to avoid you not to go to pray to God. No, it says it says the, the jinn and human. So it's two categories. It's not one category. It's not the same thing. No, no. Uh, so the brother, human, Allah. human. For what me, it's a red flag, brother. If you go, if follow a religion that tells you that you have no ability. I, I did, and he ran from it. All he wanted to do, he did. He never actually addressed it. He, so listen, brother, brother. I, I bring it up to him. Then he tries to do Arabic English, Arabic English, right? Then he runs away to the Trinity. No, 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 That's why. Allah, Allah wanted a new generation of humans. Because, look, if I asked you, what answer did hijab give? You can't tell me. He didn't give an answer. He ran away. What answer? If I asked you, what answer did hijab give me? Yeah? To return. No, 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 no. That was when he ran away to the Trinity. Before that, we were arguing about Kadal. No, he didn't answer, bro. No. He Be didn't answer. Before he went there, that was the ending discussion. We were talking about Kadar. No. And he ran away from the Hadith. No, no, no. Where he first started with, he started if the father wants to repeat. And that, was, he said, that was the he end. Said, he said, yes, that yes, was, they would. That was no, the he end. asked you, no, if they can differ. No, you kept saying, if he that was the yes, end, he brother. would. But that was the end. It's a new to bro. That, that was and the then end. you asked him, but before that, about I, I, I brought that up to him. I okay, brought so up. Talk about Allah's right hand. No, we were talking about Kadar. The same thing I'm talking to you about. Okay. I spoke to him about the same thing. Allah to right hand, though. Brother, I was talking to him about destiny, about free will, and he ran away. He did. He did. Because like, like we were talking and he started posing and walked away. What does that mean? We're gonna pray. Have you got wudu? Have you got wudu? Salli. No, no, salli. You know you can do wudu with, with sand and, 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 and camel pee. You know you can do that, yeah? SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. Anyway, let's talk to you. But, but listen. Your God gives you no choice. Come to Jesus Christ who gives you a choice. No, no, no. no. That's what your translation. That's your translation. The first I have one more evidence. And that that is al Kidr in Surah 18. He kills the young boy. Why? Because he can foresee that a young boy would cause his parents to doubt. So he kills him before he can no, even no, no, do it. No, no. Okay. Surah 18, verse 74. Look at you know it. What? Why are you worried about you don't even believe one God? I'm worried about I'm worried about you guys. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you guys. I want you both to come you to a You worship it. You worship it too different God. What do I do? No, I, 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 okay. I, 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 the first I just shown you, Allah said whether whether you can be grateful or whether or whether you can be ungrateful. How do you be grateful to Allah? By doing good deeds. Follow the five pillars. I don't know. Yeah, by doing good deeds. And whether you can choose to be or you can choose to be ungrateful by doing things that Allah is not happy with. You understand now? So you have two choices. Allah does give you free will. Allah give you, I, I shown you the right way. I shown you Islam. I shown you the right way. So I give you the choice whether to be grateful or ungrateful. What does it tell you? You have two choices. Two, two different choices mean free will. Because there's kind and evil. Do you believe that? Good and evil. So they can't. You can choose to be, you can choose to be kafir, kufar, 
Yeah. You can choose to be oh, kafir. Or, or, or a mu'min. Yes. A mu'min. Yes. Okay. That's why you appreciate Allah. Okay. So I understand this verse you. This clearly states that Allah gave us free will. Okay. Now, I... the point. Let me tell you. Allah in the in the hadith that says Allah created. Allah created. I've read the verse myself. Allah said He created the Ahlin Nar Ahlan. He created for hellfire people. People that uh, deserve hellfire. So what Allah means by the hadith is that Allah has already is already knowing what was my destiny, what his destiny is gonna be. But Allah again, Allah as again in the Quran, you have the choice to go to heaven or go to hell by being ungrateful and being grateful. It's yeah. simple as that. If he, if Allah has, Brother. if Allah has Brother, destiny, going, you're gonna go I'm hell. Going, that means you choose to, because Allah already in the Quran says you can choose whether to be grateful or ungrateful. You understand now? So, if someone goes, if someone goes by in hell into hellfire, if someone goes to hellfire or someone goes to heaven, it's not because of Allah. Allah knows already what's gonna happen. Allah knows if I'm going to hell or, or, or heaven. Allah, He knows where you're going to go. You understand now? But it's your choice whether to be, again, ungrateful or grateful. You understand now? You understand? So, brother, yeah. I hear what you're saying, yeah. but it's not dealing with a fundamental problem. What's the problem? Allah both determines where you will go in His foreknowledge, but also makes sure that you will his go fault. there. His fault. His huh? fault. His fault. Uh, according to Adam, it wasn't his fault. It was Allah's fault. Did he go to hell? Um, I have no idea where Adam is. Did he, did I, he go I, to I, hell? I believe the idea is that he's in heaven, I, I believe. No, he didn't. I Allah believe the idea is that he's in heaven. In, before he created Adam, yep. he said, I want a new generation into earth. And Malaika asked him, the angels asked him, how are you going to create? Because at that time before human created, the earth, there were savage creatures. There were savage creatures, lilac, jinn, so many bad creatures. Allah said what? I want a new generation, which called Bani Adam, the son of Adam. Bani Adam, you understand now? Yeah, but it would make no sense. If Allah no. wants it, no, Allah listen. Shows you, listen. Allah shows you. Here's the part pick. that makes no sense. If Allah simply just wants them on earth, He would make them on earth. Yeah. He wouldn't make His creation disobey Him. Yeah, but. Because, for example, um, Iblis disobeys Him. Yeah, right and, and and he gets punished right for it right now did it, and iblis says that allah deceived him so did allah did iblis have a choice or allah made him do that in the same way that he made adam do it yeah so do you blame me for an action which allah had written in my faith yeah, 40 yeah. years before my creation so he, he didn't have a choice yeah. he didn't have a choice that's the problem so Adam doesn't have a choice, neither do you, according to this. To Adam doesn't have a choice, neither does he. Huh? Did they go to hell? He didn't go to hell, but unfortunately because of him, we can go to hell. That's the problem. Baba. Yes, Allah has done this to him because he wants a new generation. I see no problem with that, bro. It's a red flag for me. No, it's a reason. Be because that, that reason. means that Allah is not merciful. Let me, let me show you. Allah shows you. Allah is showing an example of what could happen if you disobey him. Allah is Adam was just an example of why he got he came to earth. So Allah deceived him then. Huh? Allah deceived How did Adam. He deceive him? Because Adam didn't actually want to do that, but Allah made him do it. Yeah, he went in this destination, he's gonna do it. Right, but he didn't want to do it, but Allah made him do it. What does he say he didn't want? Because he is telling Musa here that you cannot blame me for this, right? So, do you blame me for acting yeah, um, I know. in my faith? So, effectively, for example, Allah could write for you that one day you will become a mass murderer. Yeah, Baba, but he's talking about hell or heaven. This content, Allah has that Allah but, would never do, do that do to you, a human because but, he's going to go to hell. But Allah, Allah, Allah could that. do this to a human being because he did it to Adam. Yeah, but did he go to hell? So, That's my question. So, so Adam didn't go to hell, right? According yeah, to tradition. Yeah, he went to but, earth. But now you can go to hell because of what Adam did. That's the problem, no, right? No, because what I'm doing. Well, 
because of Adam, you now exist in a world where there's evil everywhere, and then you can you can become part of the evil as well, like you mentioned before. Yeah, when, but when it was a, my a, a, a was child, a but what about when, for example, was a yes, I will say yes, because you said that, for example, a child can grow up in an environment where they are socialized to do evil. Yeah. Now we are creatures of habits. What we what we know is what we learn. Do you remember the verse? Which verse, sorry? Yeah, Surah no, 76, the, no, verse no, 3. No, no, no. Which what one? What does it say? We guided it to the right way. Yes, Allah 73, never, verse 6. Allah would never show someone the wrong way. What, Allah would what? never go to, uh, tell someone. Well, according I, to I Iblis, show. according to Iblis, Allah yeah. de uh, deceived him. And in Surah 8, him. yes, according to Iblis. Oh, so you're telling me Allah told Allah told Iblis to become to go, to become Iblis. Apparently, he was choice, bro. What? Well, th that's not what uh, Iblis thinks. He said, he said Allah, Allah said to uh, to Iblis, he said uh, Iblis portrait to Adam. He said no, you're creating from mud. I'm creating from, from fire. fire. Then was it Allah choice? Was it Allah choice? Did 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 Allah tell 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 him tell Iblis to say this word? Or was it Iblis choice? So do you do you know how in the Quran? Yes yeah? or no? No no no. Listen, yes listen. or no? Do you no, know? Say yes or no. no yes or no? Simple. Yes or no? I'm going to say it yes wasn't no? his choice. It was Allah's yes choice, right? Allah yes no? made him do it. Yes or no? The answer is no. Allah made him do it. It wasn't his choice. Iblis? Why? Yes. Iblis? Allah it made him. It wasn't his choice. Allah made him do it. Simple as this. How? Yeah? You know how? Um, Allah asked him to listen. portrait to Adam. Portrait. Yes. Portrait. But, but, but Iblis, Iblis, refuted, Iblis, be, Ibli, Iblis is, is a good Muslim, he's a, 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 a mu'min, right? He yeah. knows that he shouldn't bow down to any other than Allah. So he thought Allah was testing him. So that's why he said no. Baba, Baba, do you know what does he say? Iblis is the number one Muslim on the planet. Baba, all the malaika, all the malaika put to Adam, do you know what portrait means? A prostrate. Yes, so, so to revere, so to bow down to, to recognize as being superior, yeah, to, to, to worship. What? To worship. It could be. That's how but, it shows. This shows that you, you have no clue what you're talking about. When when Allah asked his angel to put you to Adam, this is a sign of respect. Mm -hmm. Respect my new creation by portraiting. You understand now? Allah asked his angels to portrait to Adam for of respect. What did Iblis say? Allah told him, told, uh, told Iblis, go and do it. Iblis said, no. Nope, he's made of mud and made of fire. Yeah. Right? What does it tell but you? Effectively, did Allah tell him to? Yes. Here's why. Here's why. <laughs> don't, don't forget. You believe that um, the reason why Adam sins is because Allah wants people to be on earth. So for Allah to sin, Satan had to deceive him. So that means that Allah used Satan to deceive Adam so he would go to, go to earth. So none of them had, yeah, had a choice. No one had a choice.